Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, let's discuss about the lifespan of dogs. Why dogs have such shorter lifespan? Lifespan in general is determined by trade-offs between survival and reproduction. Wolves, the ancestors of dogs, can live 15 to 20 years, roughly twice as long as comparable sized dogs. They start breeding in the wild no younger than 2 years old. They need to form pairs and establish a territory before breeding. Older wolves will often have help raising their pups from older juveniles who have not managed to mate or find territories. In contrast, most dogs can breed from 6 months to 12 months of age and they don't benefit from having territories, pair bonds or packs. Whereas wolves breed until they die, dog breeders will usually retire older females. So the whole life history of dogs is shifted to more of a live fast die young style compared to wolves. On top of that, artificial selection and inbreeding have created huge problems for dogs. Here's what dogs look like when they are not bred to conform to human expectations. Let's notice some of the things in dogs. Coming to long snouts for breathing, panting and eating. Shorten the snout and you get squished teeth, reduced heat tolerance and breathing problems. Next is broad skulls for brains. Several modern breeds have been reduced to what Temple Grandin calls brainless ice picks. Reducing brain size doesn't just make animals stupid, it also contributes to neurological issues that can kill them. Next one is pointy ears. They don't get ear infections. Make them floppy and you create a nice environment for pathogenic bacteria. The next is strong hips. They are for walking and running. Breed them into a cool looking German Shepherd's lounge and you'll get hip dysplasia slender lithe forms carrying extra weight puts increased wear and tear on all body systems striving to breed an idealized type while ignoring basic physiological necessities doesn't create a robust organism that's how we get tortured monstrosites like english bulldogs which can barely breathe without snorting and whose pups must be cut out of the mother's warm because she can no longer deliver them. Even seemingly harmless traits often bring a higher probability of serious health problems. White fur, for example, is often accompanied by neurological deficits ranging from subtle behavioral abnormalities to deafness or even early death. Generally speaking, working dogs have sustained longer lifespans because they are required to be physically fit to do their jobs. Show dogs are mostly just required to meet peculiar aesthetic requirements can be easily managed. The lethargy resulting from chronic health problems is actually a positive for champions who dominate the gene pool even if it shortens their lives. Loss of genetic diversity also shortens lifespans. In a healthy population, essentially all individuals have several defective genes, but each defective gene is rare in the population as a whole. When the population experiences a genetic bottleneck, that is, only a few individuals get to breed, any defects they have will spread to a large proportion of the population. That means, when these individuals mate, a large proportion of their offspring will carry two copies of the genetic defect and therefore be unhealthy. Unfortunately, for the last century or so, dog breeders have actively pursued a misguided strategy of purifying breeds by demonizing crossbreeding and allowing only champions to breed. Health-wise, this is terrible. You can't eliminate all the subtle genetic problems that plague breeds by selective breeding. They arise faster than you can purge them. While some of the more severe defects have been reduced by conscientious breeders who test their dogs before breeding. This selective breeding further narrows the gene pool and has thus promoted many more defective genes that cause mild reductions in health and lifespan. We can't test for these defects and consequently, they are now prevalent throughout most non-working breeds. 
This is why the show dogs or the so-called pet dogs we grow at home have shorter life span. We grow our pet dogs and love them as a family member but we don't know why dogs have shorter life span. This video discusses about the life span of the dogs seriously. Okay friends let's catch up with a new information in the next topic.